Hey guys, happy St. Patrick's Day. So last night I watched um, the new Tomb Raider with Alicia Vikander. And so I wanted to give you my thoughts and my review of the movie. So um, I went into it basically expecting it to be different than the original because the original with Angelina Jolie is of course different. And um, I found this movie to be for me, less entertaining, but I definitely saw like parts of the game that were in the movie, like the boat scene from the from the game was in the was in the movie, and and I I loved how badass and strong she was. I mean, she's just a badass, strong character in general. But I don't know. I mean, I just I the story could have been better, but it was from the game, so. You know, I've heard I've heard some people loved it and some people me. So basically Tomb Raider is about this woman named Laura, Laura Croft. She's a treasure hunter of sorts and her father is a searcher of artifacts. And I think in the original movie, I haven't seen the original movie in a long time, but in this movie she finds clues that her father left behind to his whereabouts because they think that he's dead but she finds clues these clues from his will and she finds all this research that he's done over the years on this ancient japanese curse that this ancient japanese queen possessed and she goes to China, she finds the man that she th thinks sold her dad a boat. And it's actually the guy's dad. But, but yeah, it's, um, and she just, you know, she has to fight a lot of people to get where she wants to be. She finds the island, she finds the island that she's seeking. And it's basically a, it's basically about her trying to find her dad and save the world and it was good i thought alicia vikander vikander i thought she was really good i thought um she was very badass like i said very strong i just felt like compared to the original i remember that Angelina Jolie, she had a lot more like charisma and personality I felt like and I felt like in this movie Laura didn't have a lot of personality which I get like I, I get that it's about her trying to find her father and trying to save the world and you know there's not really any room for you know whatever um not really any room for jokes there were a couple of jokes though um but at the end of the day my brother actually told me that um, that he thought that the movie could have been longer because they kept out some of the really good elements for the game that they could have put in there to make it better. He overall liked it. Um, I overall liked it too. Would I say that I would go to the movies and get, see it again or like see it on DVD? I mean, it depends. It depends on the situation, but probably not. It wasn't like, a, I mean, there were parts of the movie that were really, really interesting and like really good actually, but there were parts of the movie that were also slow. I would say like the first half hour was kind of slow in my opinion and then it definitely got better and better and yeah i mean overall not bad um the characters weren't great there was only like a few characters in the movie though really that were like good probably like a six and a half to seven like it wasn't bad but it wasn't like amazing like i wouldn't say it's gonna like you know be amazing or like get a lot of awards or maybe take in a lot of money i don't see it taking a lot of, taking in a lot of money but it was pretty good so i can't deny that it wasn't a bad movie so full disclosure i've never played the video game so when i say that when i say that the game the movie had a lot of similarities to the game mostly my brother told me these these things um but i do plan to play the game at some point i'm just not a storyline kind of 
game person. I'm more of a shooter kind of game person. I just love to like get in there and shoot zombies or bad guys. I'm just, I don't have the patience for that. And I didn't grow up playing video games a lot. Like my brother's always been a gamer, but I was, I grew up more being a music, TV, movie, um, person basically like I didn't really grow up being a huge gamer but I did play some games like like you know the normal ones like oh my god I played a lot of um Metroid when I was growing up oh, I love Metroid but that's for another video but dad pointed out that compared to Angelina Jolie obviously Alyssa V Alyssa you know, like Candor isn't as curvy as Angelina Jolie and she, he kind of was bothered by that I think a little bit but I feel like I liked that she wasn't objectified in the movie. You know, people didn't treat her like a piece of meat as they did with Angelina Jolie when she was the original Tomb Raider. Um, and I kind of think that was a good thing for them to do, like cast a woman who's not a super objectifiable person. I mean, she's very pretty and stuff, but she's not like super curvy and she doesn't have like a rack that's like huge, you know, like she's... And I kind of like that, like it, it made it so that it wasn't objectifiable and it made it so that the movie could be just about her journey, trying to find her dad, trying to save the world, trying to just understand like her dad, I think also, I think she was just trying to understand her dad along with finding him and understand like all this stuff that's, you know, going on and understand her, her role in this whole thing too, I think, you know, because I think that you know, when you find out that your your dad researched these crazy, insane, like, Japanese ancient relics and queens and, you know, stuff, like, you think to yourself, like, is he crazy? Like, you, I, I mean, I'm sure that that ran into, it ran through her mind. Like, is my dad crazy? What's my role in this? What am I supposed to be? Who am I supposed to be? You know, that kind of stuff. So, I found it pretty interesting. That kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. And I definitely liked all the obstacles she had to go through. That was those, those those obstacles were pretty interesting. So it kind of felt like I feel like Tomb Raider kind of feels like Indiana Jones or National Treasure, kind of in that like realm. Which I've always been a fan of, like mystery and and like I've always I just always found mysteries like really good, like interesting, like not 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 really. I mean I like puzzles, but I'm not really like. A patient person when it comes to puzzles but I've always loved like the clues and the mystery and the solving the, the problem and you know all that kind of stuff so so that was my review of this movie like I said if you like the video games go check it out and if you're a fan of Lara Croft in general I think you would like this movie I mean for me like I said I'm more partial to the original two movies with Angelina Jolie because they were just more entertaining in my opinion, but I feel like this movie was a better, it was probably, I mean, I'm assuming it was a better interpretation of the video game as a movie. My brother also said that he didn't think it was as interactive as it could have been, but it's a movie, so. But I kind of get that, like maybe it it could have kind of dealt, delved more into like her dealing with all the obstacles more and the forest and everything, so. So there we have it. That was my review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews from me. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.